version 17 new features. For version 17, you can now display an overview of the project in a timeline. Timelines give you an easy way of reporting the progress of a project at a higher level to stakeholders. You can choose which tasks or milestones to add to the timeline, adding those tasks and milestones that give you a good overall picture of the project. For example, key summary tasks and milestones could be a good approach. To create a timeline, we go to the View tab, Timeline. The timeline will appear at the top of the project and you can adjust the size. I can reduce it, make it larger. Underneath the Format tab, there's new format options specifically for this timeline so you can set it how you wish. To start adding items to this timeline, we drag and drop them from the bar chart. I'm going to start off with this construction summary, so I'm going to left click hold and drag and drop. You can see the construction has appeared here at the top of my timeline. This is called a call out. This can be changed. If I click on construction, you can see it's highlighted on the format tab as a call out. I can change it to display as a bar. What I can do is I can now keep going. I'm going to be dragging and dropping some of my milestones. As I drag and drop, you can see they're appearing on my timeline. Not only do they appear on the timeline, they appear in the correct dates automatically. I don't have to worry about dragging and dropping them into the correct places. There is an, also a new timeline option within the properties of each task. If I right click on this milestone, properties. On the details tab, show in timeline. The black box that you can see around my timeline, that is displaying all the dates that you can see within the bar chart. If I scroll along on the bottom of the bar chart, you can see how that black box in the timeline has adjusted. As I scroll back, it's adjusted again. The timeline can be displayed as and when you need it. If I go back to the view ribbon, I can turn it back off.